Oh, here goes your tires, you buddy. Video, Kyle? Brand I new can. ones. You could have at least put the front ones on the back. Those are old ones. Moving right day and night. <laughs> <laughs> and we're supposed to be powered by science. That's very here. true. We better be able to get two people on one train somehow. Here it comes. Yep, that's it. Because every time I'm in his office, he's sitting there and all of a sudden he just reaches like this and there's a piece of chicken in his hand. <laughs> I'm like, how much chicken is under your desk? I overshot the R&D budget this week, so I'm going to need that $250. <laughs> <laughs> I'm moving it right, day and night. <laughs>Special edition here of Hot Shots Secret Facebook and YouTube Live episode number 77. 77. Crazy. Streaming live on YouTube and Facebook, and you can see we're in a little different setting today. The wonderful entrance desk. We're in the lobby. <laughs> the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> We've actually shot here a couple times before. Where are we at here today? They're filming some um, educational how to videos. Oh, okay. In our normal set. set they got the set is being used. Quiet on the set, they said. Yeah. They were chasing me out of, as I was getting all, all of our equipment out to use here. and so. It works for me, though. It's a lot closer to my office, so I'm always running late to get here. I can just, maybe we should do it more often. But uh, we've got a great show today. We've got a very special guest, which we're excited about. Uh, we're saying it who? Is it going to be a special? Let's hold on. Okay, well, hold on. But we have a very special guest that you're going to hear a lot about today that we're really excited about, a new thing that we're doing this year. So we're going to dive into that. Um, as always, we're dual streaming, uh, live on Facebook and YouTube. We're going to work on getting the YouTube questions up because I heard it again that there's some YouTube questions. So I promise you we're going to work on that. But if you want to post your questions below on Facebook, we'll see them and we'll answer them. Uh, go ahead and post them now. Like and share the video. Click the little bell so you get notified because remember, we're here every Thursday at 1.30 p.m. to answer your questions. And I know you want to tell them to follow us on Instagram and YouTube and all that good stuff. Oh, yeah, because... Always doing a lot of Instagram. Okay, so I got to tell you something. Okay. I think we need to add TikTok to the measure. Now, I'm going to tell you why. Because we all know that, that TJ is a big TikTok guy, right? Right. He showed me yesterday that we, there's like, if you, uh, the hot, uh, hashtag hot shot secret on TikTok has like 100,000 like spots on it. Funny. So they're, they're out there. We said this at lunch. We're like quarter two, we're launching TikTok. <laughs> See, we're going to join the 13-year-old revolution. Um, well, you know, we got those 16 to 18-year-old diesel drivers. That's as well, right. So we gotta, that's right. We got to take care of everyone. So. All right. So our question for the day kind of gives it away a little bit. Eh. But what is your favorite polling class? You asking me? Yes. You know, you, you think I don't have one, don't you? Uh, no, I, I think you do because you. I can already. I, I'm taking a guess. I'm going to say. The, I'm going to mess it up now, uh, the, I would have known it if you had said it, the 6, 6, 2, what's it called, 6, 6,200 pound, is that what you're thinking? Yes. Is it 6,200 stock, what we call well, it? Well, there's a four-wheel drive, is it a four-wheel drive or a two-wheel drive class? I think or, it's two-wheel. So, like, two-wheel drive trucks is what you're saying, like the alcohol motors? Yeah, those are fun. With the Hemis? Which I know you're Hemi guys. There you so go. There we go. <laughs> Multiple Hemis are even better. Which would be the modified. Class. There you go. So, so okay, I'll take modified because I know those things are just okay. fun to watch. What's yours? Well, I'm a super stock guy. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Love the sound of multi turbo chargers. Can't beat it. You can't beat it. So let us know what your favorite polling class is. Put it uh, down there below. We'll check on you and and see uh, what what's the most favorite out there. Yeah. On today's video, we'll be talking about what's going on here at Hot Shot Secret. We'll also be uh, tuning in with our special guest, if he's actually live here. Yep. And we got some uh, product to give away. It's actually, uh, and some tickets as well. Match tickets. Remember, we got lots of match tickets. Even you want match tickets, message us. We yeah. got lots. We'll Levi's down to like a couple hundred or something. So let us know and we'll get you We'll get, get you out to match that's coming up. And the, we get some fuel hours out here. EDT and Diesel Extreme, that's what we're giving away? Maybe the cans here in the center. What's that in the middle? Well, it's a new product Is that we've it? been talking about for a while. Is we've been it? tuning in. It's our spray lubricants. They're out there. They're out there. We did say the names last week, didn't we? We, we did because we got the labels, we had official. Yeah. So, first one is our spray and stay grease and 
it, we, this name went around and around and it came back to the Never Rust Lubricant. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I hear, it's been discussed all day today. I'm told no, and then I'm told yes, I'm told no, and I'm told yes. Can people buy that right now? Go to hotshotsecret.com. There you go. The website. There you go. Levi's already got it up. So they're finally available, folks. We've been talking about it forever. We've been doing a lot of testing on it. I know some of you helped us out. We sampled some product out to our, our followers and our fans. We appreciate the feedback on that. Um, I can tell you there are some bad, bad formulas. So um, we might get into it a little bit, but uh, let's finish up with our, our, our top of this new stuff. What's our weekly tech tip? So when you're uh, out getting your EDT bottle, okay. check for the icon for LX4. Right. And that way you know it has LX4 inside of it. Uh, that does not. That does not. That's an older bottle. Right. But this question we get a lot up. of questions on Facebook. and It's been coming up a lot. It's come up a lot. So how do I know? Literally look for the icon that says LX4 on it. And it's in there. And you don't need to top, treat it it's on right top there. of it. Squeeze bottle. Yeah. Yep, there you go. Yep. Two to the right of that. The squeeze, the square one. One square, more over. One more. Bingo. Bingo. Awesome. There you go. That's a perfect yeah, example. Yeah, so right there, we got the LX4 icon right there. So I know it's hard to see on that screen, but so that that's it's how you right know. below on that bottle, right below where it says 400 gallons. Right, and and I'll tell you, there's not many more out there that aren't aren't because I, I mean we've been shipping out of here since for uh, months for months. But you know how you it is retail, retail supply. cycles and so forth. So but. keep an eye on your retailers if it doesn't have a label on. Trust me, it's still a good product. We just improved it with the LX4, so yeah. um, we're we got to think a couple months now. They've got to be almost through that supply, right? Or you can order direct from us on the website, or uh, you can always go to our website, punch in your uh, zip code, and find an independent dealer near you. Most of our dealers, our independent dealers, they have the new formula because they turn over right. uh, inventory so quickly, so they've got the new stuff out there. So that's your tech tip. Look for the LX4 spot. <laughs> yeah, well. I swear, every night I answer four or five questions about. We do. We what do. I do? You know, and it, it's not. Believe me, we love to help you. We want sure. you to be educated. That's what we're all about. Go and we see the question a million times. Yes. We know it's a question. That it's needs a to be good answered. question, and it, it's easy enough. If it's got LX4 in it, no need to put any extra on top. You can if you want. It, you can, but so the the, uh, the, the the returns diminish though. Not yet. No. Not yet. There's still gains. Still gains. Yeah. So. This is another question that follows up with that. I know I've heard this a lot because people wonder about the dosages. Because on the LX4 straight, a pure LX4, we have a one ounce to 10 gallons dosage. The EDT with the LX4 in it has the one ounce to 25 gallons or two ounces to 25 gallons for the performance dose. And so people say, well, if I've got a 25 gallon tank and I'm putting two and a half ounces of LX4 in, but I'm only putting two ounces of EDT in, how much LX4 is really going in there? So to finally answer that question, because I had to go to R&D on this, the performance dose of EDT has as much LX4 in it to get you under the 460 wear scar. Right. So as we've talked about a lot, we're not gonna dive into it today, but we talked about a lot, the, uh, the US regulation is a 520 wear scar and the lubricity level of the diesel fuel. So if you've got the worst fuel out there possible, on the market, and it's right at that 520 wear scar. A performance dose of EDT has enough LX4 in to, to move it 60 w w points on the, on the wear scar test, which will get you under the 460. A lot of people want to be under 400, be under 300. You can add more LX4 on top of that to get your wear scar down lower. But rest assured, a performance dose of EDT will get you under the wear scar. And that's really for the guy who just wants to protect their truck, make sure they don't have any problems with their pump and everything right. else. And if you've read some of the scary stories out there, Yep. It's pretty, you know, it's pretty safe and straightforward and just a real cheap insurance to add the performance dose EDT, plus you're going to um, add all the cetane and everything else to oh, your yeah. protection. All it, it's stuff. just all peace of mind and really it should even pay for itself with the uh, mile per gallon gains as well. Absolutely. So uh, I think you want the last line there, don't you? Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> subscribe to our email newsletter as well, hotshotsecret.com slash email, or on the bottom of the homepage as well. And retail, I think this is the final week, right? Final week and Final Sunday. week in Sunday, tractor supply, $1.99 <laughs> off your 32-ounce diesel extreme right there. Good size jug. Uh, save a couple bucks. So last chance to get that this week. Uh, going into our Kiddos Nose segment now? 
Yes. All right. Bringing on our special guest here. Our special guest. We're very happy. Uh, the, the audience here is going nuts. We do have a peanut gallery today. <laughs> so let's welcome aboard uh, Mr. Greg Randall. Yes. Of the NGPA. Thank you very much. Hey, Greg. Yeah. Happy 2020 days. Oh, yeah, it is one of those crazy days, one isn't it? One of those crazy it? number days, yeah. yeah. So, Greg, before we even get into finding out what you do at the NTPA and all that good stuff, we're going to get personal. Okay. It's Gets No Greg Day. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little fun segment we do, uh, usually with the employees here, but you're going to get the, the grind today. So The 10 questions. Have at yes. it. Okay. Where were you born? Urbana, Ohio. Where did you grow up? Urbana, Ohio. You know, sounds familiar. Sounds familiar. <laughs> <laughs> what was your first job? Working uh, for my uncle at a cone at the cone shop. The cone and, shop. Yeah, and and the, the interesting thing about that was I ran his printing business, which was a, in a building attached, like 15 years later. But he ripped off White Castle, and he had the Dougie Burgers. <laughs> it was no kidding. It was basically yeah named after him. So anyway, yeah, fun fact. Where did you go to school? <laughs> I went to Urbana High School and Urbana University. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I knew this was going to be great. Next question is, have you ever left Urbana? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, in fact, uh, since 1998, I moved over to Worthington and then Lewis Center, Delaware, uh, kind of uh, the last 21 years. Gotcha. Yeah. What did you study? Business administration and personnel management. Hmm. You playing sports growing up? I actually played uh, Little League uh, baseball, and then uh, my I didn't realize how bad my vision was, and I just was swinging wildly at the pitches, <laughs> hoping to connect, you know. And uh, when I connect, I could really uh, knock it pretty far, but most times I wasn't connecting. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite hobby? Favorite hobby? Hmm, that's a good question. Oh, I guess my obsession with the Oakland Raiders, or now Las Vegas Raiders, I should say. Right. Yeah. Favorite holiday? Uh, you know, I I like Thanksgiving. I like I love Christmas too. Uh, obviously, Christ is born. But uh, yeah, yeah, Christmas I guess. Okay, favorite beverage. Favorite beverage. That would probably be either Mellow Yellow Zero or Coke Zero Vanilla. Hmm. Fountain. That's the first time we've heard that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, favorite TV show or movie. Ooh. Uh, favorite TV show or movie? I don't know that that with all this streaming stuff. I mean, I've been a living single mode here. You know, back in the nineties, I've been watching that. Uh, uh, yeah, Evan's back here laughing. Evan, come on. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, trying to think about that, that's that's the one of today. I, I don't know. That's a good question. I don't watch a lot of TV, and usually, if I, I am, I'm on a treadmill or something. So, I think the right answer is uh, uh, reruns of NTPA polling. You know, I see enough of that though too. That, yeah. you, know, uh, you know, you gotta have a little bit of variety, or, sure. Or, or right. you, you don't wanna burn out. I've been in this roughly 30 years, you know, coming up in, in May, wow. uh, four years removed, but then I help uh, a group put on a charity poll, so I really, you get enough it just of it. goes together. Right. So yeah, you just gotta have some balance there. Right. Okay. Yeah. And do you play an instrument? And this was from me because I know this. Yes. Uh, that's. Uh, yes, I, I, I am a percussionist drummer, and nice. I, I had the opportunity to go to Ohio State full ride music scholarship, but as a drummer, and that, that petrified me uh, because I didn't know piano, and I pretty much thought it was maybe a little limiting on what you could do, but uh, the band director of Urbana High School was on the the board there, the, the, all the, the, the first letters of the best damn band in the land, right. and, and uh, so uh, that was kind of how that was facilitated. He left the Zyla, when I when I said I wasn't going to do it, he left the, the school's Z new xylophone, and I got to keep it all summer long in my bedroom. I don't think I touched it, but like twice, you know? <laughs> so I, I, I just, you know, and then, you know, the rest is uh, history with Urbana, and uh, it's been a, it's been a good You used to play drums at all? 
I do. I do. I've got a uh, roll Get the band back together. I know. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Where's Aaron? <laughs> Where's Aaron? And I've got, uh, I've got Tam. Yeah, we come running down there. <laughs> Safe and symbols. It's a, a, a rack. It's you know when you when you've done it since 1978. You know it's kind of like buying and selling. Right. Keep increasing, increasing to the point like I don't need any more. <laughs> yeah. Well, there it is. That's our rapid That's fire it. gets a no segment. More than you wanted to know. No, <laughs> more than I knew before we started. That's right. That's right. <laughs> All right. So, are we going to get into? Do you want to finish up the news or? Yeah. We can jump right in. Well, let's jump right in. We'll come back to that. Okay. Let's, let's mix it up a bit. Sounds good. So, obviously, the big announcement this year is that we've made a big move into polling. And we decided to, to have a sponsorship with NTPA, and we're, we're really excited about that. Yeah, really excited you guys got to come in today, too. That's, that's awesome. And so, and you want to, I think we've already told your background. Right. And so, that's kind of been a nice transition for us. So, you want to kind of explain that? Well, um, I worked for NTPA for almost 10 years before coming here. Um, I did a lot of the marketing there, social media stuff as well. And uh, so it's been a nice transition to get everyone together and make this partnership work because we know there's benefits for everyone involved and that's what we want to do. We want to get more and more into agriculture as well. Yep. But we've also um, built this brand from the drag racing side Yep. as well and it's a nice transition for us to now move into polling as the next step absolutely yeah we're very glad to have you guys on board you know uh the products definitely do match a uh, large part of our demographic you mentioned the agricultural market uh, we've been on rfd tv for 15 years uh, we've already actually filmed for season 16 wow. uh, back in cloverdale indiana last uh, month so that fits well so, you know, our universe is, is really between web and social media, TV series and everything, 365, 24-7, just like pretty much every business is now. Sure. So uh, it's exciting because even though, uh, you know, your, your, your fans and your buyers, consumers, uh, they know of your product, it's just going to be introduced to so many more, and that's what these uh, arrangements are all about: is to, to improve each other and and, and uh, grow and develop. Right, right, and, and I think one of the parallels also, uh, when we first got into motorsports and drag racing, diesel drag racing, sure there there's there's products that benefit the competitors there, but as we know, you go look at the parking lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or the pits oh, yeah. of a pole or a drag race, they're full of diesel trucks, you know? So oh, yeah. it's, I mean, everybody who's who's getting their equipment there um, are, are big customers of ours, which is great. And then the background uh, where these people uh, come from, they're out there, you know, as we know, we want to get a little more reach into agriculture. There's nothing bigger than, than the polars, you know? So right. that's, yeah. a, that's a good parallel for us. So we're, we're really looking forward to it. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, when we had our uh, agreement with Chevrolet, which lasted a long, long time until we hit the 2008 when everything kind of tanked that year. But uh, when I started, they had a stat where Chevrolet found out that three quarters of the fan base were coming to tractor pulls primarily in a pickup truck. Mm -hmm. And Chevrolet wanted to be the official vehicle to let three quarters of that crowd know that we support the support the sport you love, mm -hmm. and although that's a real diehard, whether you're shooting, rooting for Chevrolet, Ford, or Dodge at the time, or what have you, uh, they they impacted that market pretty well. Right. Uh, and we we could do some things with the local dealers and so forth. So uh, we've dealt with a lot of uh, Fortune 500 companies over the years, and uh, normally, you know, in doing so. We learned a lot, but I think they learned a lot as well. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing that uh, we could kind of watch is it, it develops from some kind of a uh, market uh, awareness to a, you know, how do we turn that into sales and to how do we grow those sales, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and sometimes you get new people in positions and they have other places they, they feel maybe market saturation is there. But uh, products like this, or some of the sponsors or the other parts, uh, some of those. I mean, it's it's something that people come and go, and they use it uh, every day. It's sure. just like eating or drinking. And uh, people that have the pickup truck and the tractors and so forth, 
you know they want to take care of their investment sure because they, they got to rely on it every day to make a living so these type of products have a, a lot of staying power because mm -hmm. it, it's just a fabric of their everyday life yeah and we also find that there's 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 a part of uh, and I, I know it's big in the polling as, as it is in the drag racing where uh, us as a brand we already have a reach into your customers that, that are coming in into your, your fans um, obviously not as big as we want and that's why you know we're, we're coming in to make it a, a louder statement if you will I've always felt as a brand it's our responsibility to develop and put forth a very strong product um, and, you know we're very proud of our products around here and, and, and we know that they work and that they that we back them up and that we're constantly bringing new, new products to market uh, the exposure that we get from it these fans tend to be very loyal to their sport and then therefore maybe maybe there's some guys out there that are might be using another product or another brand or something and just because they say hey these guys are stepping up and supporting the NTPA that I love that I pull in or that I love to go and watch all the time you know I'm gonna give them a shot and you know that's all we're looking for as a brand is is to, to create a, a family relationship so that the there's some some continuity between and you even mentioned some of the other sponsors like O'Reilly well I mean we're we're sold in O'Reilly so you know we're, we're we love the continuity and then that fan can say hey I can keep this all in my family you know it's like I can go get a product at a place that supports what I love to, to, to do or watch you know and, and that's where I think these type of sponsors really work well together on yeah, absolutely when you talk about uh, brand loyalty and so forth a lot of the research that I've seen over the years it stays in that 70 plus percentile mm -hmm. so that's high that's yep. that's high better than just an average just put it out there in a in a, in a shotgun method and a Super Bowl ad you know sure. you're hitting millions of people but are you hitting a target you right. know so uh, yeah it's, it's a very good uh, natural fit absolutely thoughts questions what do you got you really hit you're the it glue well. between this I, I know that's <laughs> like but you guys really hit it hard what we really want to do and just well I will say we were kind of worried that maybe he was just a plant from you guys oh, is that right? <laughs> you know get inside say hey but I think you guys should really do something with NTPA yeah. but since the contract signing still here we're, we're, we're glad about it we, we had a good good man we were sorry to see him go but we were also excited for his opportunity and his new bride and uh, uh, it's uh, not an everyday thing but Josh is always we know part of our family Yep. And we're becoming part of your family. <laughs> absolutely. So it's a, it's, a, it's a great thing. Yeah, yeah really absolutely. So what's new for 2020 since I've been gone? What is new for 2020? <laughs> you mean the things I can say or the yes. things I can't say? No, the things you can. All the things you can and maybe one thing you can't say. Well, um, you know, we've got some new events, which are good. Uh, just like everything else, uh, the ag market has kind of hit a little hard times mm -hmm. over the years. So... Some of the fairs uh, are being a little bit more selective, careful, diligent about their budget. Um, so we've, we've had some people that we've had for a long time, uh, not a lot, but, but a few that are not returning. Uh, but with that, we've got a lot of new doors opening. I'm talking already of some people with 2021 events, but uh, we're starting out our uh, year this year in Terre Haute, Indiana at, uh, for, for a kind of a diesel uh, runoff type of uh, event uh, so if you like something that smokes uh, our Grand National super stock diesel trucks and super farm tractors are going to start that uh, kick the season off on a two-day event and then when's that that is um, it's the last weekend in May 28th okay. 29th I believe it is uh, and then uh, we're got another new one in Franklin Indiana hmm. uh, south of Indianapolis which is mid mid July we're going to have uh, unlimited mods and pro stock tractors, two wheel drive trucks, and uh, I'm trying to think here. The fourth division is eluding me. Today I was working with our uh, accountant, and we were going over a whole lot of just different things and just uh, getting ready for uh, our annual meetings. And uh, anyway, I, I, shifting gears is sometimes uh, interesting, <laughs> but but frankly, we're very uh, interested in that uh, show coming up. Pro stocks, I think, was the other one, and I think I said pro stocks. But, um, and then we've got uh, uh, Hoopston, Illinois moved to September and uh, they're running a two day four class show. So on the Grand National side, we've got that. Um, so we've got, you know, we, we started out with some angry farmer products, Todd Dugan, he uh, has- He's a local. 
he's 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 local too. He's up yeah. in this, this neck of the woods, and uh, he's going to campaign two uh, diesel super stock trucks. Which he's had on display right here at his marathon station. Oh, is that right? Yeah, he has, yeah, I know. He, he pulls them out here a couple times a year. We see him out there on display. It's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely. So, so he's jumped in uh, real big. Uh, behind the scenes, you know, we've been working on some of our programs and just uh, our show or tele cup is uh, uh, going to be a little different this year. I can't say too much about it, although I did send him a contract last, uh, well, a couple nights ago, and uh, I think that's the way it's going to go. And uh, Get ready for our uh, 34th annual Enderty pull off. That's kind of our year in finale in Urban, Ohio, which is you know too far sure. uh, from, from here. And uh, so, as we continue uh, our TV series and uh, the other exciting things, we've got uh, three new employees in the office. You know, I went 10 years and didn't hire three people. I went a month and hired three people, and that they actually comprise our peanut gallery. As you <laughs> Man, you must have had a big salary over there if you left and they were three in. <laughs> it was kind of a three for three, to be honest with you. Uh, the boss resigned. We had another uh, employee. She had to uh, leave for health reasons. And then and then Josh. So we actually uh, have uh, Matt Stein Metz, if that last name sounds familiar. Huh. I don't think there's any relation. Huh. But anyway, I see them together a lot, but I don't think they're related. Uh, interesting. And then uh, Michaela Kramer and her dad uh, pulled... Uh, Super Farm and then Light Pro Stocks. So she's running our magazine. Oh, okay. And, she, and, uh, and then we got Evan Smith, who's kind of working in the web and social media and merchandise and, and some of those areas. So, uh, so yeah, we've had a lot of moving parts since the uh, uh, first part of December at our annual uh, banquet and convention. Probably the funniest thing that I always, you know, people ask me, gee, there's no polling. What do you, what do you do in the off season? You, you, know, you guys, is this a full time job? <laughs> just, you just don't have any idea how much is involved in, in this, you know. So, uh, but I've been blessed to be involved in this as long as I have, and uh, still get up every day and looking to contribute the best I can. A lot of great people have come and gone in this sport, continue to be there, whether it be our uh, pullers, our promoters. Our, our fans, our sponsors, um, you know, there's a lot of good people you run across in, yeah. in this field and uh, continue to. It's it's one of those big, small worlds, I like to say, you know, yes. it's it's a big community, but it's very tight yeah. and everybody knows everybody and yeah. uh, there's there's not, not one guy that won't help the next guy out. Yeah, that is very true. You know, and it's funny because I'll ask people, where are you from? And they'll say, well, I'm from Indiana. We're in Indiana <laughs> because chances are I've been there or I know somebody from there or that area, you know, and have some type of, of story and it's kind of a, a conversational starter, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, the summer is, uh, I don't know, 120 days away roughly till we'll be uh, trekking around. Uh, we were interviewing, uh, this will be reminiscent for you. Uh, we were talking to a couple of guys about. Uh, Maybe helping out with the video board this summer <laughs> yesterday <laughs> and doing all the uh, yeah. permutations of you know which board and maybe they split it up and other possibilities so there's always uh, something going on in that realm mm -hmm. well and you guys really st start I think you mentioned the TV already started going isn't the winter nationals yeah it, it was the 10th That's and 11th January January yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 so they get yeah. They're getting off from, we have an event in October still. November off, kind of. Try to start. Yeah, yeah try to get. December start, planning. December, for, and boom. December's our banquet. And, and then. A big January, event in January. Very yeah. good. Yeah. Well, I mean, you, know, you have Thanksgiving, then I fly to San Antonio for the National Fair Convention, uh -huh. and then I fly back to go into the NTPA Convention and Banquet, and then the next week we got PRI and Wisconsin uh, Banquet. And then you run in the holidays, and then you get right back. Yep. Second day of, of January, you're doing the Ohio Fair Managers Banquet, and then you get done with that, and you're going to the Cloverdale. You get done with that, and then you're trying to do all your contracts for all your promoters. Right. It's a it's a very involved time, you know. So w when when does the the season really kick off to the point of uh, you know you, when we see just the I, I I looked at the schedule and I was like, holy moly, <laughs> and uh, yeah. So when, when does the real boom kick off? We've got the early events in May, and particularly June. Mm -hmm. But quite honestly, I would say the event that kind of is the first quarter, getting things really rolling hot and heavy, would be Tillman, Wisconsin. Yep. 
for a long time, it was pretty much the launching point of the Grand National right. schedule. Now we've got a couple of uh, very good events in front of it. The Hutchinson, Minnesota is a, a, a great event. Uh, but a lot of the competitors, you know, all the divisions will pretty much you know, be at Toma. Sure. And, and that's where things just really kind of roll. Everybody's together again for maybe the first time since the banquet in a way. So, uh, yeah, that's usually kind of where things kind of uh, go. And then I know there's a culmination up to uh, one of the bigger events. The industry, big, big understatement is Bowling Green. Bowling Green is, a, is an event unto its own. Yeah. <laughs> like it. There's nothing that compares to it. And uh, How do you pull that off? Like, how do you? Well, first off, we, we, we sanction it. Right. The Northwest Ohio Tractor Pullers, they're the ones that are really pulling it off. Right. And they make uh, our life very easy because they're, you know, all in tune. The, the, the funny thing I've heard over the years, I mean, literally 30 years, is we want to become the next Bowling Green. And the next question is, well, how do they do that? And I said, well, they've made a lot of right decisions as they've gone along. And I think the name National Tractor Point Championships right. kind of calls to, hey, that's where the championships are determined, which is, which is a brilliant play way back in the mid-60s when they started. Sure. Uh, but uh, just the number of committed men and women that make up that event, and uh, uh, they, it's just become a spectacle. It, it's kind of earned some, some reputation that you're going to see a lot of different vehicles compete that you don't maybe normally see. See everything there. Every, uh, on, uh, Everyone on the wants to come there. Everyone no matter wants to come. What, they're, yeah. what they're doing, what their yeah. plans are, it may be the only time of year we see them. Yeah, and to win, they, they give away, if you win the weekend, both you know t total points, distance, whatever, they give you a ring that's the same, made from the manufacturer of the Super Bowl rings. Wow. So that's not just anyone can get, right. can get that. So you, you really earn it. So that, they've, again, uh, they've done a great job. We're, we're very uh, uh, glad that they're on our schedule. Yeah. And you got an event here in March coming up as well. Yeah, uh, that event is the uh, NTPA uh, Spring Nationals. <laughs> it's in Shipshawana, Indiana. And they just uh, signed actually a couple new uh, sponsors here just recently. I, I, the, the names are escaping me, but you can see that on the website. But we were there for the first time last year. Funny story, I left Bowling Green on my way to Hudsonville, Michigan, and I, I parked overnight at the facilities. Uh, I got a toy hauler that I take around during the summer. And anyway, they take me in the building, they take me in this coliseum, and they say, we're going to have a tractor pull here. And I was like, okay, <laughs> problem. You got three garage doors, and the probably the, the widest is 28 feet. Oh. I said, "How are you going to run a tractor 25 mile an hour, 30 mile an hour? <laughs> through get that. it through that door. You got to have concrete barriers. Plus, where's the smoke tube going to go?" And they said, "Oh, well, you don't think we could do it here?" And I was like, uh -huh. "Yeah, that's just that's just like, <laughs> well, we pull antiques here. Yeah, those will work." So I said, "Well, this is a big building. Can you give me a tour?" Sure. So they take me back around to this uh, like exhibition hall A and B, and I walk in and I look around. And I was like, "How long is this? 400 feet? How much? How, how much between those beams? All oh, about 96 feet, 100, whatever. We can pull in here. <laughs> really? I say we we do it already <laughs> in Cloverdale. So uh, that kind of got that back on track, and I not said, "Hey, give me a tour of the building. We may not have you know had anything there, but." That right off the get-go uh, has been very, I mean, just year one was successful. And uh, that's Amish tourist town. I, I mean that mm -hmm. in a, a good way. It's just a lot of touristy things. But the Amish came out that Friday night when you were there, Josh. I, I don't know how many buggies were, and horses were parked outside, but there was a bunch. The stands were full Friday were, night, and it was full. just amazing. You, yeah. First time event, first night. And just that's great. Full. Yeah, so they've added a Saturday session. They've got a farm show there, so uh, that's a good event. And uh, I think tickets are going to be hard to get when we get real close to the event because they seem to really be ramping up the uh, promotion on that event. And with the farm show, it's a small farm show. It's not like what we just had. Uh, seen in Louisville last weekend, right? But, uh, so that's that's it. That's a very good event. Sounds like a lot of fun stuff coming up. Well, we could be busy if we want to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I remember. So this is Greg Greg Randall, the general manager of the NTPA. Yes, sir. So guys, if you got questions, post them down below for Greg. I know you guys ask us questions all the time. <laughs> yeah. So NTPA questions, polling questions. I did see them. someone want to know where the schedule is at. NTPApol.com/schedule. 
I still know that. And also on hotshotsecret.com, <laughs> it should be there soon. Right, right. We'll be. <laughs> yeah, we're getting to it. All right. We had to launch some products this week. Okay, okay. <laughs> you know, one, one thing that... I, I don't have a big polling background. I, I came up drag racing. When I started uh, working for Hot Shots, we originally were the title sponsors of the uh, NHRDA. And the NHRDA had a polling side and a drag racing side. So that was really my first, I had been to some polls at fairs and stuff like that before. I didn't know much about it. Uh, but the NHRDA was fun because uh, Friday nights were the polls and then Saturdays were the drag racing. So, and we'd go set up for the polls and then tear the booth down and go set it up by the track for the next day. And I got to experience a lot, a lot of the polling and really fell in love with it. And I'll tell you, the, the thing I respected most about it was that these guys would come from all over the country, you know, and as much as they travel, they'd come to line up and it's go time. There's no practice. There's no way to like warm up. I mean, it's just kind of the truck or tractor's just got to be ready. And then they pull and it's like, it's all in that pool. And then they'll pack it back up and, you know, have to drive all the way back home. They, and win, lose, or draw, I mean, I just had so much respect that they put that much into it, travel so far. And how cool is that? Is it's like, you know, it, 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 off the trailer, ready to go. And, and, and that's, that's, that's for everything. That's for, that's, that's for the, the big pie, you know? So Absolutely. it's, I have got a lot of respect for how that's done, you know? Yeah. And, and you know, I think the thing that continues to drive that is it is uh, innovation. Even though a lot of things are standardized, I can go buy an engine from X manufacturer, I can buy the supercharger, turbocharger, what have you. But still, when you get everything back together to assemble it and just to tune it, there's still a lot of innovation. People show things over the years. And I'm doing this. Look at that. Nobody's doing that. You know, don't say anything. Yep. Uh, I don't get told that much anymore because of maybe the, the television series thing. They're afraid I'll leak something out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's some interesting things. So I think that still drives people. They they want to you know attract pulling in itself. Uh, I did something back for uh, Firestone. Uh, they'd have a, a, a rubber group. I forget what they exactly call it, but they would bring all the manufacturers in and they'd have a conference and they have the speakers. And I spoke, this was, I think, right before my youngest child was born, so it was 2002. And uh, I went through the whole history of pulling and, you know, who had the strongest horse. And they, and they started going at the county fairs to, to, to compete. And out of that, then we had tractors and the same thing. And then people started doing all the exotic stuff to it. And, you know, we're up to all kinds of things where an additive can add horsepower and mean the difference between first and second place. Absolutely. And and, and to speak to that, uh, you know, we mentioned earlier about uh, the audience, you, you know, that you have and how that's a, a demographic we'd like to reach a little bit better. Uh, but this type of relationship, what we found when we got into uh, the racing side of things was not necessarily, I think we, we knew what kind of company we were, but we didn't expect the return that we got from an R&D standpoint and product development standpoint. And that really has been, you know, any company's got to measure their ROI. You know, you make a big spin like this, you, you know, you got to have a return for it. You know, we don't have endless dollars here, but the type of return we found out of racing is what we're really looking for in pulling as well, is the relationships that we created with, with these race teams that are on, these guys are taking these machines to the top level. And like you said, all the pullers, they got their little tricks, they got their little ways of doing things, and uh, the, that's what I'm most looking forward to, is really developing some relationships with some of these polling teams, finding out their innovations, and you know how they're taking the next step, you know, and how they're moving the industry forward. And that's what we love here. And that's what I think has been our biggest uh, payback, I would say, on the racing side of things, is we've formulated all new products. I mean, those whole rows right there of racing oil and gear oil and transmission fluid did not exist three years ago. And that came out of a um, of our, our testing our FR3 at a high performance shop down here with Firepunk Diesel, you know? And then all of a sudden that started a relationship that said, heck, you guys should get into motorsports. And I was like, okay, we'll try that. <laughs> well, since then, it's really been, it's allowed us to um, create relationships where we are testing products with these race teams at the highest levels of performance 
where, you know, we can do road tests. Like everybody's car around here is a, a guinea pig to the company. So be careful if you park here too long, we may pour something in your tank or something. So, you know, and all these street cars and, and vehicles and trucks, uh, you know, it's great data for us and dynos and all that type of stuff. But when we can get something in a 3000 horsepower diesel motor and actually push it to the limits and then create a formula that's bulletproof at that level, we then turn that into a product that's on the shelf for the everyday guy. Right. And we can do that with confidence because we've tested at that level and, and developed at that level. So uh, that's been a huge gain for us on the, on the racing side of things. I look forward to seeing, to continuing that in polling and seeing what new things they, these guys are up to. Because I know the pullers are sneaky guys and I know they all like to keep their secrets. They all have some secrets. Oh, yeah. So uh, I hope some of them share some of them with us. We keep secrets in our lab, people. They're, they're, we got secrets too. So, uh, you know, but we're, we're really looking forward to that side of things too. Seeing how uh, we can advance our product line and, and, and also like we've always said, we're a problem solving company too. Right. So what kind of problems are these guys facing uh, in the polling, not just the agriculture and stuff, but actually on you know, on the dirt there, like in the pole, like what, how could we help that out? And uh, I guarantee you, let's have this conversation a year from now. Let's come back before next season. Right. And I guarantee you, we will have some products on the table that weren't here right now that were developed because of our relationship with polling. And that's what I'm looking forward to. I'm sure. And, and as you say about your R&D and you have secrets too and so forth, you know, quite honestly, that's where I think you'll develop relationships because uh, what they won't say in a group, they may say to you or just, individually and, and try to find out uh, answers to it within the rule book, within sure. the different metrics of, you know, fuel allowance and there's there's some things that they get, uh, you know, Oh, we know, for we know they get their, their tanks legal. dipped. Yeah, we're, <laughs> so, so, we know, it's very, we ain't completely blind here. We've yeah. been playing rookies, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> we've been talking to some pullers for a few years. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and, and to speak to that, that's the funny part is uh, one of our big things I'm hearing a lot about right now on our racing side of things is um, is is a diesel race fuel. Hasn't really been mastered yet. There's some companies that have some stuff out. I keep telling people we've been working on it a couple years. So we won't put something out until it's 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 there and ready. Now the irony is, we do have some really good stuff, and this is probably shouldn't be saying all this stuff, but <laughs> we have some really good stuff that we found to have incredible gains on mechanical pumps as opposed to you know these common rails it's a lot more difficult they're so efficient right. well every time we you know a puller comes around with a mechanical they're like Phew. so we already have a bunch of stuff canned up like just waiting to get into this mechanical market you know because we know what we can do there um so we got some we got some stuff coming so so any pullers watching that knows the ntpa uh you know if you if you really are the type that look into Research and development, we love doing testing. We love getting on the engine dynos and on, on, on the chassis dynos, all that stuff. Um, and we're, these guys are really good about what I've been so impressed about R&D, like how quick they can turn things around sure. and try things. And they'll send something out the door, you know, as soon as they got something figured out, get it to you, get it shipped yep. and try to get it tested so they can make the next adjustment. That's if, if that, is that working the right way? Then we'll keep moving the needle that way. We'll if that didn't tweak work, let's tweak, we'll tweak, tweak it again yeah. until we get and that's, something that That's works. one of the fun parts about Hot Chat Secret is we're, I always say we're at this very unique size where um, we're, we're large enough to, you know, now we're sold worldwide now and we've got 20, 30,000 stores nationwide retail. I mean, we're a big company. Yet at the same time, we're not. You guys are here today. We're one building in the middle of nowhere, Ohio, with cornfields around us here, you know, and we've got less than 40 employees here that work really I hard. There's a McDonald's out there. There's a McDonald's. <laughs> There's a McDonald's and a Wendy's. That's it. That's your choices. But uh, what's cool is we're small enough that we're nimble, too. Yeah. So we can be, we love finding niche markets. We love turning around R&D quick, quicker than them. You know, there's some big lubricant companies out there, but they're like battleships, you know? So it's like, it's really hard to turn them. We're very agile here. So we're looking yeah. forward to diving into this polling market. And I'm telling you, we're gonna, we're gonna surprise some people this first year in it, because we're gonna, we're gonna figure out some stuff and some, we're gonna solve some problems. We're gonna develop some products. We're gonna surprise some people our first year in it. Well, I, I, I know that that's gonna be a theme throughout because uh, they're always looking for that extra edge, that extra gain or whatever. But Josh gave us a nice tour here, and I just got to ask this question. And again, sometimes when you think about 
uh, anything powered uh, hot shots that you're thinking of diesel application. Well, he was telling me you do a lot even with gasoline. I sure. think that's very interesting. Well, that's like the whole, we came up through the diesel market, so we're often pigeonholed into into that, but. Many companies are, yeah. Since, uh, since day one, We've had gasoline products, and our, our stiction eliminator, which is our flagship product, it was developed for a diesel problem, the Huey injectors and 6073 Fords. But it's it was always good for a gas motor. It's good for a diesel motor. And so our oil side of products are always good for both. It's the fuel side that you either have to use the diesel or the gasoline products, you know? Right. So uh, it's just a, it's, it's something that... Uh, we always are in a struggle to let the gasoline side of the world know that we got stuff for them. The truth of the matter, and a little side note to it, is when you get into tribology with, with, oil, with oil development and especially on, on the fuel side of things, um, diesels are much more difficult. They're, they're uh, not a spark ignition. <laughs> right, and, and it's more difficult to develop, and they get more robust oil packages. Like diesel oil is so much better than a gasoline oil, you know. Um, treating diesel fuel is so much more difficult because uh, gasoline oils, gasoline fuel is very refined, so it's a pretty good product out of the pump. Uh, so we had a lot of problems. more consistent at the pump too. That's Absolutely. probably the biggest thing that people don't get. And uh, I, knew, I knew that before coming here because from the polling side, people are adding, you know, something into their fuel, and they're going, "Well, one time it says it's good, and one time it's not, and you know, it's all like it's all, it's all the base yeah. oil or the base yep. fuel here." And the yep. biodiesel, there's not always the consistency in some parameters Never. that Never. we measure in polling yep. that, that can yep. cause a disqualification. Under, you know, right. They, they'll know that that's what and, happened. And I, and I think where, where that ties back into the gasoline part is that, and I think that's why we're good at what we do, is that we specialized in the diesel side to start with. And if you can conquer the diesel stuff, the gasoline stuff's a breeze. It's so much easier, you know? <laughs> so that's why you see a lot of companies lubricant companies that may specialize in gasoline it's a bigger market don't get me wrong there's a lot more gas vehicles out there than diesel so there's more money there and all that other stuff a lot of times you don't see those guys coming into the diesel side because it's just too tough the tribology is too tough you know so um that's why we have i think that advantage so as we get in more into the gas market to us it's kind of like psh, easy peasy you know we just did this diesel stuff first so right. uh, but we love both sides we got them all here and uh we just got to figure out how, if these electric vehicles take over, how we're going to get some lubricants <laughs> into them. <so. laughs> yeah, they too will need some lubricant, though. Yeah, yeah, if you get them in the hubs, keep them rolling, all that good stuff. Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, we're getting close, but anything um, uh, we want to talk about, I, I know we're going to be out at, what's our first race that we're going to be out we're at? We're going to go to Tomo, Wisconsin, is our first That one. was That was the big one you were talking about. Yeah, so we're, we'll be at the, the big family get-together, yeah. basically. Awesome. <laughs> And, and when's that? June, uh, I think 25th, something like that. It's the last, the 4th. 25th uh, through 27th. Yeah, okay, there we go, 25th through 27th, Toma, Wisconsin. There's that big schedule, yeah. I think Levi's showing. <laughs> yeah. This yeah, time of year, I pretty much know the dates and stuff. If you ask me in two months, I'll, I'll have them all forgotten. All right. <laughs> Third well, weekend of June. Let's we'll see if we got any questions. Sure. This, uh, I know we asked people what their favorite class was. See if anybody actually let us know. Michaela's favorite class was two-wheel drive. Yeah? So she says around the office. <laughs> I've heard it mentioned a couple of times, but she wanted her dad to know because he wrote Super Farm and Life. Oh, Kid Cross Dad. So Artie Wapkins in here. What's up, Artie? Nick's in. James Bruce is in. Clinton's in. All the regulars are here. Levi's even in. Hey, Levi. Uh, Colton's asking, what's the can in the middle? The two cans in the middle are our new uh, spray lubricants. You get our spray and stay uh, uh, lubricant and our our never rust which i'm telling you the never rust is pretty much a stay and spray too they're not calling it that but it doesn't run it, it really stays and sticks where it goes it's good stuff it's awesome stuff. I'm, I'm in love with it once I, we get some more we might need to do some like testing oh, we're, doing, we're gonna do some, I, we're gonna do some more stuff but yeah i just saw this thing that uh speeds up the oxidation like instantly so we can actually show oxidation like in seconds and minutes which would be cool be awesome. we're gonna do it i saw it a month long ago john bear jr says southeast idaho checking in that's a new one Enjoying all your products, only the best. We appreciate it, John. Thanks a lot, man. Uh, James Bruce says, hey, studs. Matt Goody Goodrich is there. Andre Boogie Bedard says, super stock diesels. Wasn't that your class that you yes. like? Yes, oh yeah. There you go. Well, Can't thanks, well, Andre. Man. And Troy Kennedy's favorite polling class, the ones that blow up. 
You know, we all like it. But you gotta feel bad for the guy. It's Troy. What's that? You say it's Troy that wrote him with that? Troy Kennedy. Yeah, Troy. Go to ntpapool.com and go to the merchandise. We got a Wild Rise Rex and Fire. We got volumes two through eight. Oh really? Oh yeah. So so the this one's like an hour long, so he can see all the great explosions. All the Rex carnage. Oh, there's a lot of carnage. Too. There's some. I've seen some crazy videos. I've, I've just motors just launching, <laughs> and it's like, oh man. Yeah. There you go, Troy. Check that out. Mel's in. Is that the Never Rust? It is, Christian. It is here. It's available uh, on the website. And they told me it wasn't dealer available, but if it's on the website. It's ready for dealers, too. So give us a call. <laughs> Mel says, I need that for the Hot Shot Secret Power Wheels. Huh. What do you need it for, Mel? For the axles, the hubs, I'm guessing? Probably. You know, we got these little Power Wheels kids that we sponsored. That they are a blast to watch. They modify these. You know, the little electric cars. Right. Oh, they got like three different classes, like the unlimited class. They pull their wheels and launch. And it's it's nuts. So Mel's a crazy guy running that stuff. <laughs> Colin Ellison says, I have the perfect use for Neverus. Can't wait to order with my next dose of Diamond Outlaw and FR3. Well, awesome, Cobb. We can order today. It's all ready. TJ's watching. Thanks, buddy. Clinton asked, does Hot Shots products have a shelf life? Um... I don't know which product you're talking about, but rule of thumb, it's very, 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 very long. Um, I know we've, we've uh, for example, our EDT and our diesel extreme, it, diesel fuel goes bad pretty quickly. A little bit of EDT and diesel fuel can uh, stabilize diesel fuel for like up to two years. So the product itself is stable for multiple years. The only thing we ever ask is if you have uh, a fuel or oil product that you've had on the shelf that you found and it might be four or five years old, just give it a little shake. Just in case anything has come out of solution or, you know, fall on the bottom. Which it shouldn't, but it could after five years. So other than that, you're good. Pour it in, good to go. Don't try that with expired milk, though. Don't do that, no. <laughs> just tip of the day. Especially if it's chunky. <laughs> uh, let's see. James Bruce, picture time. Two. Oh, did he send you another picture? He did? Uh, see, we got a tester out there, James yeah. Bruce. Yes. Two picture time, two weeks in the rain, snow with salt water sprayed on them, magical spray and stay in lube, can of magical unicorn horn oil. <laughs> is, that his, is that his picture? Yeah, I think Levi's getting it up, yep. There we go. So yeah, I saw this earlier. He sprayed the middle of the, and you can see the, the threads of the steel, and I tell you, the first picture he showed us was already a completely rusted. a boy, James, keep them coming, man. So we're going to have some really cool examples of that uh, coming soon. As you're going to see us play with it quite a bit. So thanks, James. Thanks, thanks for sending the pictures in. Uh, Anthony Carter's in. What's up, Chris? Chris is in here, too. Colin says, hi, Kyle Jackson. I'm going to guess that's me. Call me Mr. Jackson. Uh, Jared's in here. Clinton says, can you post the dates or provide a link to these racing events? I think you posted them. And you can also find the dates on NTPA ntpapoll.com. And... Uh, we'll have some digital people around here get it up on our website soon. Yeah. <laughs> he was busy getting your never rust out, people, so don't hate on him. Josh Hernandez says, I'm familiar with your diesel products on the table. Can you tell me anything about those aerosol cans in the middle? Well, again, they're brand new. They are, uh, I, I think we'll do a whole uh, show on them here coming up soon. Uh, but in short, we one is a spray and stay lubricant, so... Anything, uh, it's a, more of a multi-purpose spray, but it, it does not run like your typical, um, well, I'm not going to call it any other brands. <laughs> the other is, I still call the other one a spray instead, Never Rust. The Never Rust is, I don't want to get my data wrong because I am not studied up on this, but when we developed this, there is a oxidation test that we put this under, which is they treat like raw steel with a salt water bath. 2,700 hours. There you go. See? 2700 hours you, you, you spray it on for 2700 hours it prevents oxidation or rust on that steel surface the 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 number one we found on the market when like we all do anything when we develop a product we find a problem we study everything on the market we find who's got the best out there and then we set that as you know our r d like puts that on their like board that they got to be i think the best on the market was around 500 hours well, something like that. So this didn't go to 600 hours or 700 hours. It's 2,700 hours. So we crushed the market. 
If you want a rust preventative, there's nothing better on the market than this product. And we're happy to say that. And I just completely lost the feed. There it is. That's sad. I think you just about got it. Did he? Yep. Yeah, pretty much so. All right. So, oh, yeah, there you go. Josh, bring new products. Yep. People see, there, there's our guys asking, answering for us. Right. There's Josh Lawyer. Pro stock, he says. Josh, Josh is one of our, our, our best dealers around here, and he services a lot of the agriculture community around here and uh, has a lot of link in with some, uh, some pullers, too. So. And he likes that 680 cubic inches with the big turbocharger. Yeah. 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 So, Terry Howard says, my Lincoln seemed to love the FR3 and the oil. Looking forward to trying the gas treatment. Already used the diesel products in my 97 7.3 PSD. Thanks, guys, for the videos. Well, thanks for watching, Terry. We appreciate it. And uh, last comment here, Sean Tripoli, is the Never Rust a lubricant? Yes, it is a lubricant with a rust preventative in it. So it's best of both worlds. Uh, Nick says, just talked to Christine about my cases of Never Rust this morning. I've been annoying her about it for the past month or so. Shout out to her. <laughs> She'll appreciate that. Uh, Nick, I didn't know it was you, but she's told me that someone keeps itching for it. And I think she even like got in trouble because she, pre she put your order in yesterday. Was it, was it that one? Yeah, she actually tried to sneak your order in, and uh, they were like, no, nope, not yet, and sent it back. So we will get you out uh, uh, some of that as soon as we possibly can. Let's take a look at a couple upcoming events. Um, we'll start out the ODSS season in Sun Coast, Florida, March 13th and 14th. And I'm not sure if I got posted the Facebook page or not yet, but we got a little contest going on. Did you get lost yet? Uh, been so busy with everything today i didn't get a chance uh, when to are we are we launching it now then yeah it's gonna if it's not on already we'll go ahead and post it right after the show here really cool really cool so you tell? yeah um go ahead so we know the outlaw diesel super series is starting in what three weeks yeah three weeks we'll be down in florida for the season opener uh maybe not everybody watching because you're probably already hot shots fans but the people that are eligible are people that do not have hot shots fluids what we're gonna do is, we're gonna give away a full fluid, you name it, for one of the diesel race trucks that are going down to Florida to start the ODSS season. That means a full motor of adrenaline racing oil, a full transmission of adrenaline transmission fluid. We're gonna fill your gears up. We're gonna give you Diesel Extreme and EDT for the tank, LX4 to protect it. We're gonna give you swag, hot shot secret, hoodies, shirts, t-shirts, you name it. I think it's over six hundred dollars of, of products right. and these are the best tried and true tested fluids on the market so if uh uh and what do they got to do to win it just give us a picture of their ride in the comments okay of, of that particular post it's all going to be right inside the post that's it that's it it's simple that's it it's really simple and once we get a winner i think we're going to pick it live here on the show really that's that's my plan okay i know news to you but <laughs> i guess so we ended the contest so, on Wednesday. All so of our ODSS Thursday. friends, uh, the, you're going to see the post here soon. Um, share it. If you know somebody who could really use the best fluids in diesel drag racing, somebody, some lucky person is going to kick off the season with a, with all new fluids in their truck. So, um, And you know, everyone's getting their trucks built right now. They're getting ready for the season. So uh, when we pick the name, that guy can at least uh, save on having to swap out fluids right away because we're going to get you taken care of. And side note, if you're a guy who comes down to Florida on an open bed trailer or something like that with your truck, I talked to Firepunk. Big shout out to Firepunk Diesel. They said they'll donate their pit and their tools so uh, we can do all the fluid swap right there at Emerald Coast Dragway, get the truck ready to go for the season. So there's, thanks to the guys over at Firepunk. Levi's got, got up the graphic now. Like there's so. the graphic. There we he go. He is magic right there. He, he is. Man. He, he is. is. So there you go, guys. Uh, get the word out. Uh, I'm going to share it later today. I guess we're going to get it up. Uh, Right after we get done here. Yep. Well, after I kick out the NTPA guys. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so, so let's let you guys know. Um, I, again, you can't already be running Hot Shots Fluids, and you've got to be at the Suncoast season opener down in Florida, and you post a picture of your race truck. I mean, it's simple. Take a picture with your phone, throw it on the comment. And trust me, all of our guys out there that are running our, our stuff right now and already know how good it is and, and, and stuff, the best thing you can do to, uh, for us is let somebody know who's not and say here's a good chance to swap over to Hot Shots Fluids and see what they do for your race yeah. truck. So did you that's say an oil analysis in that too? Which there's I, an oil analysis. That was too. I was just thinking about that because I think that's a cool thing. It is too. We're to gonna do we're gonna do at, analysis as well yes. on, on on the oil so you know where you're at. Yeah. Well put. I'm glad you said that. No, that great. And uh, 
couple more events that same weekend starting on the 12th will be the Hot Shot Secret St. Patrick's Day Loose Rocker Classic. Yeah, and you know, uh, Michael Beard was just here yesterday. Thanks, shout out to Michael Beard who, who runs Loose Rocker and all those events. We're not going to physically be out there for, for it, which I'm sad about, but he actually stopped by. He's picking up our feather flags and stuff to, to, for, for the racetrack, so we appreciate that, Michael. I know our sponsored racer, Chris Mancini, Trey Sykes is going to be out there racing, so good luck to those guys. We're going to have more about that, I think, in the next couple weeks. I think we're going to have them on our Facebook Live show before the race, so uh, we'll have more about that coming up soon. Right. And uh, as we mentioned before, the NTPA Spring Nationals in Shipshawana, March 20th and 21st. And the weekend after that be the Mid America Truck Show in Louisville. And again, we have tickets to give out as well. So lots, lots. So you just shoot us a message on Facebook, and we'll have Levi send them out. And <laughs> speaking of upcoming episodes, so I think upcoming episodes of, of Facebook Live, we will have one for the Loose Rocker event. We'll probably have one for uh, uh, right before the, the season kickoff of ODSS. And Matt's right before we get into that. We have something really cool going down there, so we'll have a whole episode on that because I think we're going to have a guest on here talking about that. Mm -hmm. So that'll be cool too, so stay tuned. Yeah. What you got? Is that it, man? Well, the only other thing I really had was uh, we're going to do our giveaway, obviously, but wanted to mention on TV, we're on Truck U this weekend. Oh, that's right. Three we episodes. Have like a triple header, right? It's a triple header, right? Well, <laughs> it's not a triple header, but it's three episodes. So Saturday at 1030 and then again at 1 o'clock Eastern. With Stiction Eliminator and Sunday at 10:30 a.m. as well. Stiction, Stiction Eliminator. Eliminator. So it's a triple header of Stiction Eliminator. It's that time of year. It's a good time of year to clean the motor out. So Spring Stiction cleaning, Eliminator, basically. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, you want to give some stuff away? Yeah. You know what? I have um, a couple names here. Let's give one to uh, Josh Hernandez and Andre. And I, my screen blanked out before I okay. got to get his last name. So I wrote down Andre, if we can see back in the notes. And uh, so, so I, make sure to message the page, let us know yep. your address and so forth. And you're going to get a choice of one of the two spray lips, either the Nether Rust or the Stain Spray. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Let the people try the product. Let the people try it. So Josh Hernandez and Andre, Andre something. Uh, sometimes my screen gets blank. Devin Daniels, I see you in there. I did not skip your comment. My screen went blank, so I missed it. Um, Dan Zelton, one of our sponsored racers, one of our dealers, says best fluids out there, someone will get the best product. So Dan, spread the word. Let, let someone know we're going to swap someone's fluids down there in Florida to get them ready for the race season. Let's hope they're not an index racer because they may pick up a tenth a second and then they break out of their class <laughs> and then blame it on us for such good fluids. So, uh, But uh, that's it. I, I really appreciate you coming on. Uh, we're really looking forward to this new partnership with NTPA and, and I, I, you know, we're, what we also, I don't think we even mentioned is, uh, did, we, did we do like a multi-year deal? Three years. Three, Three years. years. So yeah. the, the, we're not tiptoeing into this. We, no. we wanted to make the statement that we're in there for, for the long haul. So uh, the, again, if we could translate what we've done in the racing world in three years, I can't wait to see where we're at in the polling world in three years. Yeah. And uh, I think it's just the start of something big and we're really looking forward to it. And I know a lot of our fans are really supportive of, of uh, us getting into the polling. So. Thank you, uh, and we're looking forward to this. Is there uh, uh, something you want to you want to finish with? Well, um, you put me on the spot now. All right. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> so, where can they find everything? Again, it's ntpapoll.com. Ntpapoll.com. Yeah, exactly. And social media as well. I think Levi was showing some of your uh, Facebook page earlier there. Yeah. Yep. You can ntpa truck and tractor pulling. Yep. All right, and we will be, and, and I know since uh, we've got you on the digital side, you're going to keep everybody in tune with um, how the season goes, and mm -hmm. we're really looking forward to it. So we appreciate our guest. Uh, thanks for everybody tuning in. Thanks for your questions. Our prize winners, make sure you message us. We'll get you out some of our new product. Again, it's available now, so you can go ahead and order on the new uh, spray lubricants. Until next Thursday, you guys have a great Thursday. Have a great weekend, and we will see you next week.